Days after Malaysia Airlines Flight 17 was shot down in eastern Ukraine, the fate of the victims remains is unclear. As the war of information continues between the Ukrainian government and Russian separatist rebels, media outlets are being caught up in conflicting reports. One thing most of the media seems to agree on, who's in charge at the crash site. Pro-Russian militants are in control here. Some show curiosity, but there's no obvious intention of quickly recovering the bodies or securing the aircraft. What should be a restricted crime scene, guarded by just a few men in civilian clothes. And most outlets are citing a Ukrainian official who said close to 200 of the bodies have been accounted for, and many of those have been removed. The Guardian reports many of the bodies have been loaded onto refrigerated trains, but the train's conductors say they don't know where they're taking them. As for the investigators, after reports Friday of hostility, separatist rebels are allowing investigators from the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, or OSCE, to see some of of the crash site. But rebels on the ground argue they have to take the bodies because investigators are taking too long. Several dozen experts are currently in Kiev. We're asking them, please come here faster. We are surprised and frankly angered that we have to keep the area untouched while we've been waiting for them for so long. Still, most of the anger over the situation has come from the international community. The Dutch foreign minister told Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko people in his country were furious, saying, We are already shocked by the news we got today of bodies being dragged around, of the site not being treated properly. All this is the hot temperatures on the ground reportedly in the upper 80s speed the remains decomposition and add to complications investigators are facing. Finger pointing over the crash continues as well, with British Prime Minister David Cameron the latest to join the fray on Sunday, blaming Russian President Vladimir Putin for the instability that he says led to the tragedy. For Newsy, I'm Sebastian Martinez.